Hello! In this video you can see me paint Master Lazarus or Primer's Captain. We'll start things off with Balthazar Gold, going uh, with the tip of the brush very thin on the metallic parts. Lead Belcher on the chain, on the neck, belt buckle, the little keychain. Retributor gold for all the golden golden ornaments around his neck, the eagle, skulls, sword. I start with the metallic parts, the small details, because uh, it forces me to uh, be very careful with the filling in the larger parts like the cape afterwards. I have to be really careful. be very crude with the gold on the book ornament. I'll fill it up with uh, Rhinox Hide or Mornfang Brown for the leather parts afterwards. Using Caliban Green for the cape. He's a dark angel, so Caliban Green, of course. Very smooth, very... Uh, I dilute the paint with some water. Going uh, very thin coats, of course. Two, three, four thin coats smooth so I don't leave brush marks. Let it dry between each coats. You can even start building some uh, color density towards the highlights. Warplock bronze for uh, the knee cap, knee guard. I find it's a really nice color for those kind of armor plates. Corn red for the rest of the, the knee cap, the knee guard for the base, base coat. Very thin, two, three coats always. With Abaddon black, I'm picking out detail, the under armor the joint parts, very thin, always uh, mixed with some water so it glides smoothly in the small, uh, small cracks. Adding some shade also to the metallic parts. Instead of using null oil, I'm using uh, Abaddon Black Thin Down. It's deeper shade than null oil for this uh, metallic. The chain part, I'm really blocking out the, the shade here. Vulcan green for some highlights on the cape. The Caliban green base and uh, Vulcan green gives a nice creamy, creamy green. It's not too sharp a highlight. Quite subtle, I like it, so I'm building up the color slowly. Just thin coats on the where the light touches very thinly. Just building up color gradually. Celestra Grey for the inside of the cape, very thin, 3-4 coats, I'm repeating this, it's uh, essential that you don't slather on a thin coat of paint and leave the marks and the thickness of the paint, that's it's never good. I'm mixing up some Lamian Medium and Chaos Black, uh, Abaddon Black to shade the cape where I put Caliban Green. I'm going from highlight to shade, back to highlight, some shade again, back and forth, just to build the volume.
again Vulcan green, more highlights, more color on the higher edges. Reckland flesh shade, starting to build some shade on the uh, parchment of purity seals that bookmark he's got on his book and uh, some deep shade on the golden parts I'll be using seraphim sepia afterwards but this is just the deep shade for the gold just some touches not slathering it all over the place just some touches for the, sh the darker parts I mix Celestra Grey and Corvus Black, a dark grey, almost black uh, mixing and very thin down with water and Lamian Medium to shade the Celestra Grey parts for the, uh, the inside of the cape. Yushab T-Bone, building some highlights on the, the rope parts on his, uh, on his waist, parchment, book. Just building some some color, some light here. Very thin on the brush, very little paint on the tip of the brush and uh, brushing lightly just on the raised parts. Evil Sun Scarlet on the corn red base for the feather. I'm just building up the highlight very thinly, three, four, five, six coats until you're happy with the highlight. Very thin on the edges, very little paint on the brush, very thin down with water, building up pigment. First coats will be very thin, <clears throat> chalky, but then you build up the pigment and it adds up and it becomes uh, even. So the more coats you give, the more pigment is left. Corax white for the ridge on the feather, that little uh, bony part inside the feather. It's a very small piece, very thin on the brush. Evil Sun Scarlet for the knee cap, knee guard. Very thin towards where the light hits, building up light color. Gradually go towards where you want the paint to accumulate. The paint leaves the brush after the, the movement, so you go towards where you want the paint to accumulate. Stormhost Silver, a very sharp silver color for the chain. Just very small touches of uh, the brush. Very little pigment on the brush, I'm just rubbing on the, the raised surfaces and it really gives the, the detail a nice punch. Auric Armor Gold, very shiny gold color for the gold detail. Just thin, sharp on the sharp edges of the golden parts. The edges of the book was on uh, Mornfang Brown, just on the ridges, just a little touch for a very shiny light on the edge. Lamian Medium will mix with Abaddon Black, 
to pick out the armor plates. I'm going uh, really thick here because I'm going to fix it up afterwards. So this is uh, starting to shade the armor plates. Going towards the shadow, towards the shaded part to leave the, the drops of pigment after my movement, the brushes. When the brush leaves the, the surface, that's where it leaves the blob, the blob of paint. Dawnstone on the uh, edges of the armor plates. Start building some highlights. Very thin, but not too thin. Starting to uh, build the color, highlight some, uh, some volume on the plates. Administratum gray on the very edges, very thin edges of the armor plates, just the corners and some, uh, some edges. Not everywhere like you put down stone. So I'm going with the edge of the brush, not the tip of the brush. Very perpendicular to the uh, edge you want to highlight, with the edge. I'm almost doing a NMM here. It's like not NNM, NMM at all, but uh, just some light. I'm trying stuff out. I'm having fun. So I'm putting a, a nice shine on the on the facing of the armor plate, and I'm coming back with some uh, Mille, Mechanicus Standard Gray to fix up the the shading to blend it towards the the shade, the dark shade. This model doesn't have very many uh, armor plates like regular marines do so he's pretty quick for, uh, for that kind of detail just some on the abdomen the leg and the neck I really like doing that neck part it really picks it out makes it stand out moving on to the power pack now I'm using retributor armor for the big golden ornament on top Thin coat, two thin coats. Zandri dust for the purity seal. Again, two coats, two, three. Very thin coats. Tends to become blobby. Mechanicus standard gray for the uh, armor plate parts. I based the model with uh, lead belcher. It was, uh, it's easier afterwards for the detail. The detail is already metal, so I'm just going with the armor plate parts now. Retributor armor, again, second coat, very thin coat. I don't want to block out detail. Screamer pink for that little wax part of the purity seal. I'm using Celestra Grey, thin down with water, two coats inside the vent, I guess where the heat vent for the battery pack, or I don't know how it, how it works. Light coat of Ushapti Bone on the purity seal over the Zandri dust. This gives a more papery, old paper feel to it. I'm using Reikland Flesh Shade 
for the shade parts of the gold, the very deep shade parts, not all over, just a very dark shade. And then Seraphim Sepia all over the gold and the purity seal. This one is more orange. Over the gold it gives a nice shine. It darkens it up just a bit, but not as much as Reckon Flesh Shade. Auric Armor Gold for the golden highlights on the uh, ornaments. Just where the light touches, very thin on the, on the tip of the brush. Ushabti Bone again on the Purity Seal. Gene Stealer Purple to highlight the Purity Seals Wax. Stormhost Silver for a very sharp uh, highlight on the metallic parts and the uh, gold also for the very hard reflections on the gold. Now I'll be doing all three arms at once, the one with the bolter, the sword and the power glove. Doing the golden ornaments first. Retributor armor. There's a small sword on the bolter. Using a lead belcher for some ornaments again, metal ornaments, some studs. Bolter. Doing two, three thin coats of lead belcher on the sword. Screamer pink for the wax of the purity seal on the bolter. Balthazar gold, there's a little clip on the bolter strap between the bolter and the strap. Corn red for the shoulder pads edges. Zandri dust for the purity seal on the uh, under the shield and on the bolter. Using warp lock bronze the shoulder pads, uh, that big guard thing, metallic guard thing. Calipan green, I'm filling out the, the shoulder pads uh, color. Very thin and with the tip of the brush I'm pushing the paint in the detail. It's very thin so it glides into the detail. Seraphim Sepia on the Purity Seal. Also on the metallic uh, gold ornaments, on the shoulder pads, the sword. Dryad Bark for the leather strap of the bolter. It's a nice dark brown color. I'm using Mechanicus Star Standard Gray for the armor plates. Picking out the details. Starting to build some, some volume on the fingers. A 
Agrax Earthshade to shade the uh, leather strap. No oil to pick out the, the shoulder pads between the red and the green, shading the red and the green inside part, and underneath the golden ornaments also on the armor plates, picking out the detail. Also on the bolter. I'm trying something out here using Dawnstone on the power glove. Two thin coats to uh, make it very light. Necron compound as a dry brush on the bolter to bring out the metal. And then I'm using uh, Agrax Earthshade uh, wash on the metal part to make it more iron irony. Starting to build color, some uh, light on the shoulder pads with Vulcan green. Shabti bone, the purity seal, the banner part of the shoulder guard. Mephist in red to highlight the shoulder pads border. Very thin coats, building color towards the light. Three, four, five thin coats rather than one or two thicker coats. Hash put copper, highlighting the uh, warp lock bronze part. purple, just a few touches on the wax part of the purity seal. Ungor flesh, highlighting the leather strap under the bolter, just on the edges, just where the light touches, not all around. Warpstone glow, edge highlight on the bolter. Green, very thin edge highlight on the bolter. Dawnstone starting to build some highlight on the armor plates. Very thin edge highlights on the fingers, the hands armor plates. Stratum Grey, picking out more edges, not everywhere, just where the light is really harder. Stormhost Silver, picking out metal parts, very sharp uh, reflections.
Abaddon Black, thinned down with water. I'm picking out some detail on the bolter I had left out earlier. Auric Armor Gold, highlighting the gold ornaments on the shoulder pads, the sword. Storm Host Silver for sharp reflection, where the metal really shines the light. Now I'm using Way Watcher Green Glaze all over the sword. I don't know, it's uh, some quick trick. I'm using green as the color instead of blue, usually blue power swords. But uh, I like my Dark Angels with green power weapons. Now I'm trying something out here, Corax White, very thin down, putting it into the the cracks of the power power glove. So really thin down, I'm doing like three, four coats, just between the fingers, like inside the palm. Glazing with Way Watcher Green over the work I just did on the white. Back to Corax White, very thin and much lighter than the previous step. Trying some uh, warpstone, warpstone glow, like uh, OSL-ish. I'm trying this out. I'm not used to this. I'm just experimenting, having fun. Some more light with uh, mood green, very thin down. This is for uh, the highlight on the laurel red of the power glove. Corax white uh, for little electronic parts of the arms, a little screen, little buttons. Watcher Green again for the electronics. And just a few touches of Corax White for the light sources. Mood Green thinned down all around the electronics. Just Corax White, a little touch on the light part just to pop it out. I think it works. Celestra Gray for the shield, for the base for the white part. of the shield checker.
separating the white celestial gray part with Corax white. Just a little, little uh, edge highlight all around. I need a flat surface for the decal. Soak the decal in the water for 2-3 minutes, 3-4 minutes maybe. Slip it off with the tip of a brush and uh, adjust it with the tip of the brush. The water helps to uh, move it around, just a drop of water and then coat it again with uh, art coat and some Lamian medium if you want to make it dull, matte. Now off to the other arm with the helmet and the wings. Retributor armor. Zandri dust for the purity seal, thin coat, two, three thin coats. Zandri dust has a tendency to be uh, pretty thick, so you're better off using very thin coats. Screamer pink for the wax. New Shabti bone on the purity seal. Very thin. Lead belcher. Picking out some detail on the helmet, that little tubing part on the, the chin, the earpiece, and under the chin. Mechanicus Standard Grey, picking out some uh, highlights on the flat uh, of the armor plates. Caliban Green for the pauldron. Now I'm doing the other, uh, the other way around. I'm doing the inner part first. I think this is the wrong method. You need to be very careful afterwards when you're putting on the red. So uh, I shouldn't do this. I should do the, the trim first and then do the inside. Celestra Grey for the feathers. Very thin, always very thin. Three or four coats. Corn red, I'm picking out the trim for the pauldron, shoulder pads. Rhinox hide, thin down to uh, shade uh, the gold. Just working very thin and building some shade gradually. Seraphim sepia on the gold parts everywhere, the shoulder pad ornament, the purity seal, Agrax Earth Shade, shading the wax of the purity seal, just a little touch. Mm -hmm. 
Drakenhof Nightshade. I'm uh, shading the feathers all over the, the feathers. Null Noil, slapping it on uh, the Caliban green part of the shoulder, shoulder guard, shoulder pad. Also all over the armor plates. Shapti Bone, picking out highlights on the pur purity seal. Abaddon Black, cutting cutting out parts of the armor plates. Dawnstone, highlighting the armor plates, the helmet detail. I'm blending some Mechanicus Standard Grey with the Dawnstone to blend the, the highlight here. Stratum Grey, edge highlights on the helmet. Stin Red, trims for the shoulder guards. Corax White, building uh, light on the feathers very lightly towards the tip of the feathers to build up the color, build up the pigment. Armor gold, highlighting the gold ornaments and the uh, feather uh, rack, I don't know how you call it, the ornament on the helmet. Stormhost silver for final punches of light and reflection. The helmet for the primary captain, picking out uh, detail of retributor armor on the helmet, that little sword on the forehead and the uh, service studs I guess golden service studs. Slapping on null oil all over the helmet to bring out the, the volumes of the plates. Mechanicus standard grey. Cleaning up the null oil where it shouldn't be. Dawn stone on the edges. Stratum Grey, finer edges. Lenses, uh, putting corn red all over the uh, the eye socket. Very thin, maybe two coats.
Amethyst and red. It's a base color, so you want to bring it uh, very thin down and you swipe it towards the front of the helmet. Evil Sun Scarlet, always moving towards the front of the helmet to build the light towards the front of the lens. Troll Slayer Orange, now we're almost all the way at the front. Just a little touch at the front of the lens. Ariel Yellow, just a small dot at the front. And Corax White, very small dot at the back of the lens where the light would be entering. And now the head. I based it with Wraithbone, uh, Wraithbone Spray. The contrast series. Rack Earth Flesh, thin down, light coat, maybe two coats, very thin. And you want to leave some uh, some Wraithbone primer showing through. Abaddon Black, just to uh, block out the metallic detail of the, the head part. <laughs> pink thin down with a very small brush I'm just filling up the scarf and with Rackrath flesh again I'm just cleaning up where I messed up the scar just around the scar with a mix of Rackrath flesh and uh, Mornfang brown very thin down I'm putting some shadows at the base of the the hair, the cheek, the eye sockets, the ears, under the chin, very thin. You can build it up gradually. flesh bring it bringing it uh, back up cleaning up the shade and just leaving the shaded parts I want Reckland flesh shade putting some more shade on the uh, darker parts of the face One flesh starting to build some highlight on the, uh, the forehead, the cheek, cheekbones. for the lips, thin down, very light. Rhinox hide for the upper lip and the side of the lips, just bringing out some shade at the inside of the mouth. Dragon half night shade for the uh, eye sockets. Maybe make it dark like he hasn't slept in a few weeks or months. Seraphim sepia for the hair. The hair was based using sandry dust. Ungor flesh to highlight the hair building a light 
hair pattern, just little lines towards the back. white for the eyes. Stormhost silver highlighting the metal parts. They were based using lead belcher. shine on the service studs. And finally with record flesh we blend back down to the or back up to the original uh, base color smoothing everything out. And that's how I painted my Master Lazarus. I hope you learned something maybe from this video. Uh, if you want, uh, please comment down below, share, like, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.